we're back on another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I'm your host, Nick Legato. Ooh, lag city. There we go, all better. I gotta figure out what that is. It's gonna bug the hell out of me. I do have one of my codecs running in the background, and it has been for a while now. With no video playing, maybe that's probably the problem. It glitched out or something. Just reboot the computer, works fine. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Bowser, Bowser, where are you? He's nowhere to be found. Hmm. You would think. Oh, what is this? Look at this. Look at all these nice paintings, huh? Oh, I just saw the Emperor. Oh, scared me. They almost look alive. Oh, no, they are alive. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? I did. And I'm sure since so many people played this game, you saw it coming too. <laughs> yes. Yes, we stuck Cyan in our party. Just because he needed to be here. I'm sick and tired of people saying to me, Why don't you use Cyan? He's not that bad. Why don't you use... Oh god, some, some asshat. Why don't you use the Cyan glitch? No, I'm not going to use the Cyan glitch. I'm sorry. I have more pride than that. More honor and dignity. I know you don't, but I do. I actually will use the designed enemy weakness to my advantage, thank you very much. Oh my god. The Emperor's letter. The letter reads as follows. The treasure's hidden where the mountains form a star. Interesting. Uh, we talked to a guy earlier who mentioned that. At least I talked to a guy. I don't know if I recorded myself talking to this guy, but I wanted to make sure it was actually there. The theme of this dungeon is actually going to be charm, which is up for debate whether or not I can really deal with it or not. I really don't, honestly don't care at this point. I'm just here to kill shit. And we brought Shadow along to help ensure that. And then we brought Sign along, who won't ensure much of anything, but I thought it'd be fun to bring him along to give him a shot. You know, you never know. Who knows? He might actually not be too bad, but like I said, in the time that it takes for him to charge anything... You could have probably done about 12 attacks of your run, you know, really your own. Empower. Bring me your health, wench. Thank you. You know, so it goes back into that kind of understanding. I mean, Shadow, even Shadow, I mean, is pretty strong on his own. As you can see there, just took out, you know, and that's with outdated gear. For the most part. I mean, so it's really up to you what you want to do. As I am blinded. One character I don't want to be blind is blinded. Um. So it's really I got saying is one ugly son of a bitch too. Ugh. And he's equipped with dual tempest, which really helped him very, very little. Give him that. You know, I guess I didn't finish equipping these guys. This explains way too much. Go ring and an earring. Sitting there going, why is he not doing enough damage? That would be good. Oh, there we go. It's like the two idiots that I was concerned about being doing enough damage, and I didn't give them the tools to do it. <laughs> nice shooting, soldier. So, painting of a door. Painting of a chair, maybe. What is this? It's relaxing. It's comfy. It's oh my god. Yeah. If you didn't see that coming, I don't know what to tell you anymore. And what a stereotype. A lady and her cats. Well, let's cook them. See how well cooking them does with the correct equipment on. For a change. That's not too bad. Bye, kitties. Yeah, be careful of this wench. She... It's not that she hurts or anything. It's just that she'll throw stuff. She throws weapons at you. And other than clear, you're vulnerable to getting hit by it. You don't want to get hit by it. Take that, infidel. Uh-oh. <laughs> Too bad it didn't help the cause. So pretty much the idea is, is to give everybody else a turn and then have Cyan kind of cap off with maybe Quadra Slam or Quadra Slide. You know, Quadra Slam or Empower. Whatever you really need. I mean, he again, he's more of our utility character for now. And, you know, I like to use them for other things, but, I mean, that's just 
asking for trouble at this point, or at this juncture. Doors, doors, and the Moogle suit. The Moogle suit is uh, equipable for those who can wear them. It uh, updates your uh, crushers. It updates your. Uh, it upgrades your magic by about five. So if you, yeah, I bought a shit ton of ninja stars too. So if you're using that, you know, if you're using, it's not really that useful. The one joy, joyous humor in it is that, um, strangely enough, it. Uh, what I'm looking for. Strangely enough, oh dang it. Strangely enough, it is. Um, they're starting to hurt me now. This is not good. Um, God, what was I gonna say? I keep cutting myself off here. Um, eh, forget it. I forgot already. <laughs> Go me. Forget what you're gonna say. She's dead. Take that. And that. And some of that. And a little more of that. And one more for the road, baby. Yeah. Blow it out your ass. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of Cyan. Obviously, if, if we had other members in our party, this, these battles would be significantly easier. But, you know, now you can see why I don't like him. He is, I don't know. His magic is crap, so heal, using him as a healer is not much of an option. What does that sound? Ah, rotating doors. Well, fuck that. I'm tired of playing your game, door. That is just the strangest thing. Relic ring. This ring is has its very finite uses, but it has a use. Ooh. The use of the relic ring is that it causes the undead status, so and we're walking. Um, so like I was saying, uh, for the most part I lied, new enemy. These are probably the strongest tiny birds in the game. They're not dangerous, really, except they can do what all little tiny birds in this game can normally do, which is cause some very nasty status effects that just petrify. So, kind of important to kill them off quickly here. There we go. Quadra Slam is the attack of the day next to his melee. His, you know, I do have the Genji glove on him. I could use it that way, which I really should. But, yeah, just not really caring that much to do it. I just hate Cyan. I hate having to figure out what I want to do with him. Mondor. Thank you. This obviously is going to lead back out here. Just to show you which one's the right one. And because I'm trying to intentionally get magic points for myself, so that's part of it too. So, obviously this is the right way here. Can't get in there now, can we? Floating chest? What is this? Ow! Floating chest. Oh no! And yeah, these are like back in the uh, cave from a long time ago. <laughs> from, oh jeez, what is it? The uh, sealed cave. Those chests do not contain what they say they contain. They lie to us only and mock us. And so thus we will, we will grab them, but... I guarantee you, everything in there is actually one step worse than what it really is, I think. My memory serves me right, and usually it... So far, it hasn't actually done too bad. I had to put Cyan in the front row just because he's so pathetic. I can't rely on him to do anything right now except be a meat shield, and to do at least a thousand points of damage around, if anything. That was not two thousand. That was like two hundred. Yeah, it's that badly dwarfed. Try to ignore. I try to let my soul ignore these chests, but it is money and goods, so I must have them. And every battle is going to consist of this. So, uh, as you can see, I've come to an understanding of how to take care of this wench and her kitties, I'm killing them violently with fire. So, we'll see you after the battle. So, yeah. So, I just went ahead and took all the chests down. It's, they say you get 2,000 gold pieces, potion, ether, and a remedy, but really what you get is, I think, 300 gold pieces, a tonic, a tincture, and a soft. I think is what you get, because I looked at my inventory and that's exactly what I got. So, it's a load of crap. This is a mini boss fight. Not a big deal. You can steal the famous fake mustache from him. 
but I've never really found it useful. And we'll also see him on the belt, so if we really want to get it, we can get it then. And he has so little HP, this is just pathetic watching him struggle. Nothing a nice Fire 2 spell can't handle. And then we'll just load a dispatch in there, throw another thing at him. Yeah, he, he's just really a regular, he's more like a regular enemy, if anything. So he has been defeated, and as you can see, the little bit of leveling that we've done here is actually starting to make Cyan and Shadow health-wise grow, which is good, because they're pretty weak right now. Which is nice to see Espers actually doing their job when they promote, rather than just being circumstantial. Save point, let's use it. We need it for the MP. Uh, tent. Whatever. <laughs> um, let's save, since I don't know how Cyan's gonna perform in the upcoming endeavors here. Oh, let's see. I don't want to go to the... You know, I don't want to go to the closest door. I, I forget which door it is. And we're walking. Yeah, it was the right door. Because I think the left door takes you all the way back to that damn chair or something. What is this? It's... Trouble hot. I'm a big fat man. A painting. And look at that realm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Actually, it doesn't matter if you attack this painting or not, but this is one of those off on battles. Kind of like uh, the Welk, so they didn't do my Ooh, baby. Oh. Hello. Yeah, I, yeah, you know, you're not allowed to have her anymore. She's mine now, bitch. So anyway, we gotta, we just have to wait it out. We have to wait for him to uh, turn into the painting, to turn into the demon in the painting, which should be happening right now. And thus, we will kill accordingly. He's weak to fire. Well, we have a lot of flame savers, so let's go ahead and use one. Okay, well, bam! Pow right in the kisser. Um. Let's jump, and let's try to absorb some of these attacks here. Even though he's just murdering uh, Cyan, but Cyan's pretty useless anyway, so it's not like it's doing much. Um, he's vulnerable to slow, but he doesn't even have that. God. Now, he's just gonna have to stand there and do nothing right now, so they have better things to do. Ouch. Uh, let's throw a ninja star. Obviously, Pearl will help. Cyan will just focus here. Look at that. That was beautiful, wasn't it? If you attack him five times or so, he'll go back into the painting. So that's just a heads up. So really, if you just wanted to, don't attack him again. Just send Mog back up. Or have Shadow throw. You know, any of those ideas would work. But since Mog does substantially more damage, We'll let him do the damage from here on, and, he, and it should die. It should die pretty quickly. After this attack, though, he's probably going to go back into the Starlet mode if he's not killed. And, but we're getting a pearl out of it, which is always good. Water slice. I think he's dead. I, I can't see him living longer than that. Yeah. And that's the end of the battle, without too much repetition. It's actually part of the AI to do that. It's really easy to pick up on. It's one of the first things I noticed. It's the only kind of thing that I thought was kind of weird first out. out up first was I counted how many attacks I did and instantly noticed that, wow, he disappears back into the painting. Oh my god, Cyan's getting spells? This is a scary, horrifying thought. And we've saved the day. So, anyway, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. We got Realm, we've got Shadow, we've got a new summon, we'll see you there.